<clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do a video for this temperature conversion worksheet. Um, sort of a step by step going through the steps. So, first one here, zero rank, and I have to fill in the rest of the boxes. So, based on this right here, taken right out of the textbook, this diagram, zero Rankin, zero Kelvin equal. So right off the bat, I know zero, right? To get Celsius from Kelvin, It is Kelvin minus 273. So let me let me just write this at the top here. So to get from Celsius equals Kelvin minus 273. Kelvin equals Celsius plus. 273. Just put those at the top of your sheet, right? Fahrenheit equals Rankin minus 460. Rankin equals Fahrenheit plus 460. I want to go to Kelvin to Celsius. I want to get Celsius. Kelvin minus 273, minus 273. Fahrenheit from Rankin, minus 460, minus 460. Make sense? Next. I thought I had my calculator open, but I don't, but it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Fahrenheit to Rankin. Let me just open this up here. So Rankin equals Fahrenheit plus 460. 460 plus 32, 492. Fahrenheit to Celsius. So Celsius equals Fahrenheit minus 32 in brackets divided by 1.8. No, that's not very bright. I should, well, you know, it's not that bad. Is there a contrast on here? It's Let's try that. So Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 zero. Celsius to Kelvin. So Kelvin equals Celsius plus 273. There we go. 
right off the bat, I should know that 100 and 212 are the same. Boiling point. Now I just do the plus. So Rankin is Fahrenheit plus 460. Six seventy two. Celsius, Kelvin, sorry, Kelvin, Celsius plus two seventy three. Don't even need a calculator for that, plus one hundred. There we go. Rankin Fahrenheit. Rankin Fahrenheit equals Rankin minus 460. 600 minus 460. One forty. Change one for you to Celsius. Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius equals Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. 140 minus 32 divided by 1.8, 60. Get Kelvin from Celsius, Celsius plus 273, 333. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. I'm looking up here, zero, 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 zero. So going back to that zero Kelvin, zero Rankin. And the blanks are going to be the same because, so you know, those boxes are the same as those boxes. Okay, moving on, 200, 200 Fahrenheit. I wanna get Celsius, let's go back with that formula. So 200 minus 32 divided by 1.8. 93, you can go to decimal places here if you want, 93.3333333. If you want, I'm just gonna leave it at 93. Rankin, Fahrenheit plus 460. 460 plus 200, 660. Kelvin from Celsius, Celsius plus We have Rankin. What's that in Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit equals Rankin minus two six four sixty. Pretty easy. It's minus three sixty.
right? What I did, 100 minus 460 equals negative 360. Now I want to convert that to Celsius. Fahrenheit minus 32. Remember, I have to get the negative. Minus 360 minus 32 divided by 1.8. Minus 218. Now that I have that, I can get Kelvin. Celsius plus 273. 55. Watch out. 50. What's that in Fahrenheit? It's pretty hot. So I'm changing Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's go back. Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Fifty times one point eight plus thirty two one twenty two Rankin Fahrenheit plus four sixty. Five eighty two. Kelvin, Celsius plus 273. 323. To get Celsius from Kelvin. Kelvin minus 273. So 300 minus 273. 27. That I have that. Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.8 plus 32, 27 times 1.8 plus 32, 81, 80.6. Rankin plus four sixty five four one Zero Celsius, I should know this, should equal 32 Fahrenheit. So from for Rankin, 32 plus 460. 
492. For Kelvin, Celsius plus 273. Zero plus 273 equals 273. So, you know, make sure that you've got, if you're having trouble with these, put those right at the top. To help you. Let's keep going. 150. Change it to Celsius. Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. Six, for Rankin, plus 460, 150, plus 460, 610. For Kelvin, add 273. Three, 39. Oh, come on, go away. Further down, 50. So I wanna make that into Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit equals Rankin minus 460. 50 minus 460 minus 410. That's cold. 410 to Celsius. Fahrenheit minus 32 divided 1.8. Minus 410. Oops, that didn't go minus. Minus 410 minus 32 divided by 1.8. Minus 246. Plus 273 to get Kelvin, add 273. That's not right. Minus two, four, six, plus 273 equals 27. Next one down, minus 42 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Minus 40 times 1.8, well, oh shoot, minus 40 times 1.8 plus 32 minus 40. So that's one of the ones that Celsius and Fahrenheit are equal, minus 40 minus 40. Fahrenheit and Celsius are equal. Okay, so now I'm gonna Fahrenheit to Rankin plus 460. 420, right, 40 plus 460, 420. This one I'm gonna add 273, add 273, minus 40 plus 273, 
to 33. Minus 40 plus 273 to 33. This is the same, minus 40, minus 40. 420 to 33 are equal. So they're all the same. I know that 212, boiling point of water, 100. One hundred plus two seventy three, three seventy three. Two twelve plus four sixty. Let's do it. Two twelve, six seventy two. Oh, same, 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 same. Ones are all the same. Celsius plus two seventy three zero minus two seventy three to Fahrenheit. Celsius times 1.8 plus Four sixty plus four sixty zero. Oh, I see something common here. One hundred two twelve three seventy three. Okay, same, same, same. Same, 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 same. Just cheating a little bit. Five Fahrenheit to Celsius. Fahrenheit minus 32 divided 1.8. Five minus 32 divided by 1.8 minus 15. Fahrenheit to Rankin plus 460, 465. Celsius to Kelvin plus 273. I'll do it on the calculator. Minus 15 plus 273, 258. And Last, Kelvin to Celsius. Celsius equals Kelvin minus 273. Did I do that at 227 instead of 226? 500 minus Seven three two two seven that to Fahrenheit Celsius times one point eight plus thirty two four. 40 or 41 plus 460 
901. And there we go. Use F, you see. There's your answer. Okay, if anyone you're not sure of, go back, go through it slower. Should be fine. Good.